Watching my clients over the years, I came to a conclusion that the age of 60 has to be the best age of your life. Physically, you are very active unless you have some kind of personal health issue and there is really not much that can stop you. Emotionally, you appreciate real, important things in life, things that matter, such as family, friends, community. You want to discover the world, make difference, help those that need your assistance, help your kids, be involved in community, participate in charitable activities. People at the age of 60 plus are some of the happiest people on the planet. Now you know what I love with my work. I'm surrounded with happy people all the time. Financially, you are at the prime of your financial position. You might want to reduce your working hours or maybe stop working altogether and start enjoying financial fruits of your life labor and have some fun. But then the big question arrives. Can I have access to my super savings if I want to retire or partially retire right now? These days, most people have majority of their savings in superannuation, a beautiful financial nest egg built over time with your employer contributions as well as your personal contributions if you've made any. If you haven't been contributing, it is not too late. A super has huge benefits, especially in retirement. Just watch series of my superannuation videos to find out about superannuation system in Australia, all pros and cons, best ways to contribute and what to watch out for. You will find a link to this series listed above me just about now, as well as at the end of this video. So from those videos, you will learn how to put the money in, why you should do it and all the issues in between. And today, we are talking about the other end of superannuation story, taking your money out. I already created a video, when can I access my super, that explains the main rules of accessing your superannuation savings, but today I want to discuss in detail how to do it if you are of age of 60, you, so you reached your preservation age, but you want to just slow down a little bit working and not really fully retire yet. Can you have access to your superannuation in this situation since you have not met conditions of release yet? If you wonder who I am, my name is Catherine Isbrand. I am Certified Financial Planner and you are watching About Retirement TV, the place to discover all the information you need to get financially ready for your perfect retirement or if you have already retired, how to improve your income and asset position for the remainder of your retirement, irrespective of what the market has been doing. As I always say, retirement is a journey, not a destination, so you better be well prepared for your retirement ride. The good news is that if you pass the age of 60 and you wish to continue working, you can access your super by commencing a retirement income stream with your superannuation money. This is when you can set up transition to retirement or so-called TTR. What is TTR and how does it work? Well, the easiest way to explain is with example. Let's assume you are 60 and your retirement savings in super amount to half a million dollars. Instead of keeping that half a million dollars in super account, which is your accumulation phase, based on your age, you have reached your preservation age, which allows you to roll over your superannuation balance to an income stream, retirement phase, and that income stream will start paying you an ongoing income. When to use transition to retirement? If you want to only work part-time, obviously your wages have reduced. Therefore, you can supplement your income from work with extra income paid from your TTR income stream. Or otherwise, if you want to continue working full-time while you also want to boost your super and save tax. Who is eligible for TTR? If you have reached your preservation age and you are still working, Preservation age is between the age of 55 and 60, depending on your date of birth. 
An important note is that TTR can only work with your superannuation from accumulation fund and not from defined benefit fund. But really, it's only about 10% of Australians that have defined benefit, mostly public sector employees, so most likely it won't be a problem for you. How much can you draw from TTR pension? You can decide on income anywhere between 4 and 10% of the TTR pension balance calculated on 1st July each financial year. Due to extension of reduction of minimum income payments for another year, so for 2021 and 22, the lowest level of income you can draw from TTR now is actually not 4%, but as low as 2%. So what tax do you pay on your TTR retirement income stream? If you are 60 or older, your TTR pension payments are fully tax-free. If you are 55 to 59, your pension is taxed at your marginal tax rate, but you do get a 15% tax offset. So let's now look at two examples. Adrian is 60. He is a team leader in a factory with income of $80,000. His job is very demanding and pretty stressful, therefore Adrian wants to reduce work to part-time only and start enjoying time with the family and do a little bit of travelling. His super balance is $700,000. Adrian decides to reduce his working hours and drop down his income to $50,000. He can decide how much to roll over from his super to a TTR pension to pay him extra required income, so his decision is to top up the end income with extra tax-free income from TTR pension of $10,000. As this is tax-free income and the level of tax paid of earned income has also decreased, the total is more than sufficient for Adrian's living expenses. So Adrian is happy, the same level of income after tax, more free time to do what he wants. Stacy is 60, working in management on $120,000 annual income. She wants to boost her super balance as due to a nasty divorce, her super is not at the level it needs to be to provide for comfortable retirement, but Stacy would like to reduce her tax at the same time. Her super balance is only $350,000. Stacy decides to roll over her super to TTR pension, draw 8%, which amounts to $28,000, which is tax-free income, and then make a salary sacrifice of maximum allowable amount of $27,500 for 2021-22 financial year. By salary sacrificing $27,500, Stacy's personal tax dropped by $8,000, $938, but she has to pay a 15% contribution tax, which is $4,125. Therefore, the total outcome is that Stacy managed to save a whopping $4,813 in tax for that year. Obviously, Stacy is very happy. Not only her level of disposable income hasn't changed, but on the top of this, she saved almost $5,000 in tax. By the way, if you are not sure what salary sacrifice is and its benefits, watch my video Salary Sacrifice Australia – Tips, Traps and Benefits. So how do you like this strategy? Do you think you could implement it for your benefit? I reckon this is one of the best superannuation strategies for anyone working past the age of 60. If you would like to understand if this is the strategy for you, just contact me directly and I can provide you with personal advice for your specific situation and how you can improve your retirement savings, reduce your tax and prolong life of your savings to ensure you never run out of money. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel not to miss my next video. So let's review now. What are the benefits of TTR? Well, you can enjoy less working hours with the same pay. You can reduce your tax. 
you can slowly prepare yourself for retirement. You can start planning for your upcoming retirement, not only from the finance perspective, but you can actually check how you enjoy this part-time retirement to decide if you are actually ready for this decision. So what are negatives of TTR? If you start drawing down your super early, you will have less when you finally decide to retire fully. And in turn, your retirement savings will not last as long as you might want. This is why going over the proper calculators that show you the expected lifespan of your superannuation savings is so important. Every year, you should know the impact of your income withdrawals on the total of your superannuation savings and how long will that money support you. So now I would like to ask you a question. How much tax are you able to save with this strategy? If you are still unsure or would like to find out how to optimize your income, your superannuation contributions while minimizing your overall tax, just contact me directly my contact details are listed in the description below this video. Also visit my website aboutretirement.com.au where you will find lots of articles, all the videos, lots of extra information, all relating to pre and post retirement. And while you are there, sign up to my email list to be kept informed about all the changes that can impact your finances during this period of your life. And now I would like to invite you to watch those superannuation videos I mentioned before. How to contribute to super, what type of super contribution is the most beneficial for you, explanation of all rules and regulations. The second recommendation is for you to start thinking about actual retirement. How to optimize your retirement savings for the best retirement you can have. If in doubt, I am just a click away. All the best. Bye.